Hey guys, it's Space Sorgonomics for this Friday. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters in Pittsburgh, PA at the Mayhem Studios. Uh, the fine, fine Mayhem Studios here. And we're looking at, uh, well, IndieWrestling.us. You may have noticed if you've been on my Twitter feeds and everything, we did a bit of a launch this week. It's out there and it's doing pretty okay, actually, uh, um, for for. for my standards at least. So here's what happened. You go to IndieWrestling.us and of course you get this fine, fine store with a lot of our releases we're doing with Sorgatron Media, with the International Wrestling Cartel, Renegade Wrestling Alliance, so much more. Uh, so it, what happened was, um, so Sorgatron Media has kind of been the uh, blanket uh, umbrella, blanket umbrella, oh, I don't know, pick a thing, uh, of, of everything I do. And that includes the pro wrestling side. Now, of course, uh, the pro wrestling side is not a giant, holy crap, there's a lot of money in this, but I believe it could be. We've been doing doing our best, doing the productions, finding a place, I've developed this online platform for them to sell, and, and frankly, I think that's really helped, you know, getting away from DVDs, uh, which just has so much overhead and time, and it just doesn't work. Um, there are a lot of people that want that DVD. But uh, there's a lot of people that are that, that don't anymore. You know, it's kind of moving on to that new world, and we're trying to figure out how to serve both of those as best as possible. And that's turned into the digital download concept, which we were kind of uh, working on in house. And uh, it was always a part of SorgatronMedia.com. And then, of course, you know, as you know, we've been discussing SorgatronMedia.com has become well, we have content, and I'm trying to get people to hire me to do stuff, and it's a store about wrestling, and it's like you know, there's so many other things I want to do that's not wrestling, and it's just kind of become this jumbled mess that kind of built, 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 built out in from the center. So I made a decision a few months ago to take this uh, domain I was sitting on, IndieWrestling.us. Uh, because I was actually just kind of peeved because, um, you know, indie wrestling, you know, dot com dot net last I know, I don't know, I've looked at them lately. Uh, but at the time, we're just like parked sites or, or old sites, you know, nothing very representative of of independent pro wrestling, which if you don't know, that's like your, you know, the, the, the wrestling in your town, you know, that uh, that could be really good. You know, it, it could be not just, you know, untrained people, you, you know, that look like they'll never be in the WWE in front of 30 people. You know, it, it can be a fantastic, fantastic thing. And and the guys that I work for, I think, are tremendous. And we have such a catalog between the two feds, um, a third fed that we distribute for. They're doing their own video production, but we're just giving them a place to sell. Uh, plus all of our documentaries, the Virgil documentary, Montreal, Th Montreal Theory, the Zach Gowan one, you know, part of our productions, you know, it, it, we, we we're able to market those a little more effectively than we are as part of, you know, this whole everything going on at Sorgatron Media. And, and you know, granted, uh, even that site is a lot of, uh, you know, hey, here's everything we're working on. It's not necessarily the go-to site if... You know, as your go-to site, if you happen to be into everything that we're doing, that's fine. Uh, but they all spin off into their own sites. You know, you go to Wrestling Mayhem Show for all the wrestling podcasts. You go to Awesome Cast for all the technology podcasts uh, and content and everything there. Insert Coin for all the video game stuff. You know, my blog for stuff like this, right? But uh, but again, just kind of you know uh, uh, mixing that in with you know there's a few client podcasts on here there's creative things like sawtooth willie we're doing there's my personal podcast we're doing with uh with lb uh with the power hour you know it, it, it's it's become uh, a little unwieldy and plus we're trying to get sponsors and that's mixed in with trying to hire people and uh and this is where you know you got to think about and reassess uh, uh that branding and i actually you know thankfully i have great great people around me that are also seeing this uh you know i i've i've thought about and developed the part for the indie wrestling.us uh, a great site design thankfully by um the awesome uh, uh, alex cars helping me out with that um alex cars design if you want if you're looking for some help with your wordpress design a wordpress implementation uh really good guy but to take um um, the other part of the business, I knew I needed a step one, and so we could go back to SorgatronMedia.com and redesign that. It's not responsive. It's not ready. I wanted to make the higher us thing bigger anyways, um, but then I got some great friends that are saying, no, we need to do some more branding beyond that, so we're going to take the, that production side 
and split it out. I mean, that's the idea so far. Uh, and, and and as you build something, you know, I talk about uh, I talk about on yesterday's podcast with Podcamp Pittsburgh about how you need to be ready to grow. You need to be. You can't just say I know everything and keep plodding ahead. That's how companies die because they can't move. Um, you know. If I keep going on this path, you know, it will, we'll just keep doing podcasts and not getting clients. And, uh, and, and that won't work unless we have a breakthrough on the one side or the other. Uh, I've often said I have many irons in the fire, and I'm just kind of waiting to see which fire grows the biggest. And now, and that's all still been under, it's basically uh, we've had, you know, many irons in the same fire under the same tent and now we're kind of splitting the tents out a little bit. Uh, and, and if you're doing something creative, it, it, you know, it, it's it's it is hard to uh, kind of decide. We're not so much kind of killing the killing the killing our baby on this thing, you know. Uh, we're kind of splitting the baby. No, that's a wrong. That's not. No, that's like a, the 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 Solomon's choice or whatever. Uh, you know, we're we're kind of uh, uh, just kind of putting putting a, a clear direction over here, right? A clear direction over here with AndyWrestling.us is like, this is where we're going to sell you things and market that and, and do things around wrestling there. And then we have Sorgatron Media, which is going to be, you know, hey, hey, look at all the stuff we're making, you know, and maybe you're just a fan of the things we're making. So I think that's going to be very important as well. Uh, so so uh, what's the lesson from this? What's the lesson from this? Uh I, and I don't know if this is a really common, I don't know if there's a really common relatable uh, kind of learning experience either, because I don't know how many people are doing this method, you know, where they've, they've got something and it's grown up this way. Um, I, 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 I look at uh, uh, some companies, uh, actually I'm working with one that their main thing is their, 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 their client work. But then they do the educational side too. Uh, is it smarter to take the educational side and put it under a different banner, or is that just the norm of what they do? You know, is there a little bit of a brand confusion? I'm like, oh, I thought you guys are just educational. You know, they don't know I can come to you to do, you know, take care of this problem. Um, I, I guess this is just a company growth thing, and I'm not much of a business minded person, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, but it's a really interesting. I, I'm hoping I'm hoping as we go here. Uh, I of course speak on some of the growing pains because I think there will be some pains as I start doing, uh, I start completing this phase one of it. Hopefully over this next week, and, and we're going to continue developing it and uh, have some great minds helping me out with it. And we kind of move to that next side of things. First of all, I need a name. <laughs> I need a name. If you're going to start a production company, uh, do you guys have any names that you would use for that? That's my first ask of you guys uh, on this. I'm brainstorming. I got a list I've started uh, for a new brand. Uh, but but what would you think uh, a new production first company, a hey, you're going to hire us to do video and et cetera, et cetera, uh, kind of creative media services in general, including social media, what would you name it based on the stuff that I do? What would you name it? I've worked on some ideas. Um, I've worked on some ideas. Where did I save that? Hopefully it's in here. Hopefully hopefully I did save that last night. Uh, most of them involved monkeys and ninja names. But uh, yeah, that's not real real good, is it? Uh, let's see. What did I? What were some tired stuff that I had last night? Big Trouble Media, which I think is taken. Ninja Monkey. Um, Wiper, Ridge media, media. What the hell is that? Why? What did I get? Ridge Media. That has to be a typo. Um, do we just call it Stoke Monkey Media? Uh, Monkey Jump Studio was one idea I had. Uh, so I mean, that's that's kind of that's kind of the start of it. I, I'll find something better. I I, I like those kind of uh, interesting names. I, I was liking and and uh, talking to uh, somebody on Twitter with I think it was Dog Chop Studio or something like that. And I was like, okay, that that's kind of fun. Uh, something that people are going to remember. So let's crowdsource this. What should my media company be called? Uh, my my production side of my company be called? Uh, and and I'm kind of curious. I'm kind of curious what you guys will come up with. Uh, so. Go check out everything. Uh, if you haven't been able to figure out by now, we're splitting things off. Uh, the newsletter, if you're on this blog, the, this newsletter is now basically the Sorgatron Media kind of creative newsletter. 
So it's, hey, you know, it's not changing all that much, although, you know, we might think about adapting it a little bit more. Uh, you know, it's, hey, this is the stuff we're making. Hey, this is the the kind of educational arm as well. You know, the blogs, the the, 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 the write-ups, the, the basic ergonomics, the power hour, uh, you'll get that information. And if you're still interested in the wrestling, go over to IndieWrestling.us. Go over to Wrestling Mayhem Show. That's the same newsletter. It's our wrestling, IndieWrestling.us newsletter. Uh, and, and, and what's really cool is we're able to take the Wrestling Mayhem show, and I'm hoping to integrate that, that bit more into IndieWrestling.us because there's so many people there that we've talked to that are featured in the releases over at uh, IndieWrestling.us. Uh, so I'm, uh, you know, the first step is getting the store going and making sure it works and everything, and then we can integrate that in these reviews that we're working on and so much other like other content can actually become a part of that uh, because I don't want it just to be a store. I'm hoping to be a good discussion point, a good community around independent wrestling and the love of independent pro wrestling um, that we illustrate on the Indie Mayhem show. And I'm hoping a lot of a lot of the guys out there can be a part of that. Let me know what you think of uh, again uh, the the initial thoughts on IndieWrestling.us, a name for this, uh, uh, this shift in my production company. I'm hoping to do here in the coming weeks. Well, it'll probably be a little more than the coming weeks because this is going to be a hell of a process. Uh, let us know uh, at Sorgatron on the Twitter. See you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.